My name is Gabriela Lo. My name is Janice. My name is Erika. My name is Erin. And my name is Lydia. We are from Food Technology. Batch 2019 C. Today we're gonna present about basics in cooking. The cooking equipment that we're gonna use is blender. To prove the physics in blender, we are gonna make a smoothie bowl. A blender is a kitchen tool that is used to mix, puree, or emulsify food ingredients. A blender consists of a blender jar, rotating metal blade, and electric motor in the base. Blender can be effectively used if the food ingredients is small enough. So, we cut these fruits into smaller pieces, the banana and the dragon fruit, to help the blender to blend easier. Blender work in two steps. The first one is when the blender cut, smash, and chop. The second one is when the food ingredients begin to mix and flow. To do the steps, the blender uses kinetic energy from the fast spinning blade. While inserting the ice cubes into the blender, the temperature of the mixture in the blender will rise through the friction between food ingredients and the rotating metal blade. The rotating metal blade will cause the fluid to accelerate in the axis line. As the result, the fluid that passes through the blade will move in a higher speed than the fluid below the blade. In fluid dynamics, vortex is a region in a fluid where the flow revolves around the axis line. Vortex causes a vacuum condition in the center of blender jar. The vacuum condition leads to pull the fluid towards the middle and down into the blade. As the blade begins to spin, the air presence of the bubbles is caused by the cavity, where the local pressure in the liquid drops below the vapor pressure of the fluid. The physical process of cavitation is similar to boiling. The fluid pressure decreases because the fluid velocity is increased when it passes through the blade. It's directly proportional to Bernoulli's principle. The bubble will have lower density than the surrounding liquid. When the bubble moves to the higher fluid pressure, it will collapse and generate an intense shock wave to break the food particles. 